Welcome to my house. Buck here. This is the next video in line for our boat performance series. And the boat we're going after today that we're going to take out with us is the Gary Scott Lyra. This is the aluminum V-Hall that we have in the game. Um, very nice boat. I, I like it a lot for down in, the, down in South America. Nice looking boat. So, let, it's got an issue with it, but I think we got a workaround for that. So, check it out. Let's jump over there now and take a look at what we're dealing with. Alright, Buck. Get your head out of the way, Buck. Alright, let's find our boat. There, 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 there we are. Okay, the Lyra. <clears throat> Gary Scott Lyra motorboat. Durability on this guy is 1800. I'm at 1799. I was just out playing around with it a little bit, working this bug out of it. Okay, so the length is 16 feet 4, width is 6 foot 2, 352 pound aluminum. Now it's aluminum V haul with 45 horsepower. Now the Echo Sounder is unique, and that's what got me started on this bug situation. So uh, rod holders no, GPS is yes, and the detailing is high. This thing is very, very good looking. Um, I like it a lot um, for the fact that the echo, the echo sounder on this thing is superb. The ultimate is unique. I mean, it, the vegetation it reads is great. Um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of faith in the in the fish ticker tape that they put across there. No, I use this thing for other things, you know, getting me around, checking depth and terrain at the bottom, finding holes and, and that kind of thing. I don't rely on that ticker tape at all. But this is a nice boat. Sharp turning, turn around on itself. You can get in in a lot of those tight places down there. Um, no trolling motor. That's 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 a bummer there. But you know, you get yourself positioned right with the current flows there. It's a very good drift boat. Uh, it's wide enough that you know, you can drift or slow down through some of those uh, canals down there in South America. It, it's a fun boat. It's a fun boat to fish out of. So with that being said. Um, I covered everything there. Let's go over and, and out there and where am I at with this guy? I am in San Joaquin. I'm out in California with this one. So let's go take a look at my my runner through the mill there. We'll see where, where she's good at and where she's not so good at. More thanks. How about it, Buck? Let's see what we got here. So there's what we're looking at. The Lyra. Pretty boat. turning radius turns on itself very nice fellas it is nice so now let's see what we have we run over 
Oh, that's not too bad of thought. I think we did. Okay. Okay. Auto, auto slow down when you That was a glitch in the game. I didn't even hit that. Acceleration. Yes, let's take a look, fellas. Let's go in here and see if we can pop one of these stairs up there. Let's see how it handles it. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, got a little thing going on there. There's a stairs right there. And we got him. Alright, I did notice while I was fishing here, you can't see the fish on the sonar while you're fishing. Light boat. Handles very well here, very maneuverable. Yeah, we can fight off the front. I'm not trying to yank him in right away. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess that was pretty quick. Not bad. We'll keep him. Alright, now, can't let. Doesn't look like you can let the motor idle while you're fishing. So we have to go back and start it again. Alright. I like my... Come on. I like my rubber motor boat because I can idle. Since it doesn't have a trolling motor. But this one... Ah, you are right. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to drift 
right on top of that. Okay, so here's a little bit of flow here in California. Yeah, it's gonna end up with two loose lines here. Okay. See what happens. So you can idle while you're finished good, which makes it nice. So you can just quickly put the pole away and back it up a little bit and get your pole back out. So that's not too bad. You don't have to keep spreading the edge and it idles very quietly. So not too shabby. <clears throat> Looks like we got a, a bigger one here. Uh, there it is. Light boat, so you, you get up on top of them pretty fast. He's there already. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Nice fishing out of keep that guy so that's not too bad all right let's head down to the dam and we'll see what we can do with a little bit of that little head down there put this guy away Pretty much does it here performance wise see what you get with this one i do like fishing off the front very maneuverable it's very lightweight so you can get it around rocks very nice and i do like that Fish there. Let's 
to drive over by myself. Ah. Nice there. it up for this one about the performance on the Gary Scott Lyra motorboat. Hope this helps you out for this one. We'll see you next time.